So hello everybody, uh, I'm Tristan Childress with the Bureau of Economic Geology. Um, what I'm standing among is the result of about three weeks working out in the field in West Texas. We were sampling the Cornutus Mountains, which is west of Dell City and about a hundred miles east of El Paso. East, yes, correct. So uh, uh, these are a bunch of intrusive uh, cyanitic mountains and they may have economic potential to them. So we went out in that area and we did a huge mapping campaign and we collected about 120 rock samples that vary from limestones to sandstones to these cyanitic intrusions which look a lot like this. So we have a lot of these volcanic samples with these big crystalline textures to them. Now that we brought all these samples back to the lab, we're going to start cutting them up so that we can begin doing uh, geochemical and petrographical analyses on them. Okay, so uh, when we bring these rocks in from the field, they're usually covered with uh, dust, dirt, uh, they have vegetation on them, and importantly, they got this oxidized rind where the elements like such as wind and water have been basically destroying the minerals that make up the rock. And so what we want to do to the best of our ability is to clean all of that off because we want to get to the inside of the rock to see what it was originally made out of. And so we take these rocks and we wash them and uh, we will take them down to the saw room and cut them into slices kind of like a loaf of bread and we get these slabs of rock. And so you can see uh, this is the same rock and going from one to the next is they're totally different. And so on the inside we can see the original fabric of the rock and we can see the individual grains that make up the rock. And so from that, we would even cut smaller pieces, and we can send these smaller pieces out for geochemical analysis to learn about what their elemental makeup is, and we can have them even cut down into thinner pieces to make thin sections. So here you can see where we've cut uh, dozens of billets from the rocks that we collected here. Um, and so these billets are these small rectangular pieces of rock. And what they will eventually do is they'll be sent out for specialized analyses that we can't do in-house. And so that can include things like electron microscopy or laser ablation or uh, full elemental assays. Um, and so those will tell us things like what are the elemental content, what kinds of crystals are there, what are the contents of each individual crystal. Um, you can get down to a really fine scale of information here. Um, but we have lots of these, uh, probably about 100 of these, and we want to get a real large diversity of rock types um, so we have multiple limestone samples, we have multiple calcite samples, we have sandstone samples, and we have dozens of those intrusive volcanic rocks. So now that we have these billets made up, we're going to uh, ship them off for some geochemical analysis and thin sections to be made. And so the next time you see me on here, we'll have those things ready for you and we'll start to talk about where we go from there. So if you've enjoyed this, I hope you uh, keep following us to see our updates in the future. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later.